St. Lucia has a total of 25 confirmed cases of COVID-19 to date. 22 of the cases have fully recovered, but three remain in care and are stable. The condition of the last case of the 86-year-old gentleman who was diagnosed on the 30th of July 2020 has improved. He has been released from the intensive care unit at the respiratory hospital and is being managed on the ward at the respiratory hospital. A total of 3,973 tests have been conducted to date. The Ministry of Health and Wellness was again alerted this week by the police commissioner of persons entering the borders illegally from high-risk areas. They are placed in institutional quarantine when found, but many remain in the communities. We continue to advise the public against harboring persons coming to the borders illegally. This poses a serious threat of COVID-19 transmission at the level of our communities. As we manage new cases and investigate possible contacts, the public is advised to take personal responsibility to protect themselves and their family. We advise on responsible behavior without unnecessary panic. The public is advised that all of the protocols are still in place. These include the use of the face mask in public and maintaining safe physical distance from others. We appeal to everyone to continue supporting our national effort to minimize the threat of COVID-19 on our island. The five respiratory clinics remain open to facilitate anyone with respiratory signs and symptoms or any concerns. The 311 hotline is also available where questions and concerns can be addressed. We continue to advise on the importance of maintaining the standard recommendations for infection prevention and control which include regular hand washing with soap and water or alcohol-based hand sanitizer when soap and water is not available, and to cover your mouth and nose with disposable tissues when coughing. The Ministry of Health and Wellness will continue providing updates on COVID-19.